Hello, it's Monday, June the 28th, 2010, and I'm Martin Smith with the Daily Outlook from Maxiforex. The dollar weakened against most major currencies after Friday's US GDP revision came out lower than expected at 2.7% instead of 3%, indicating a weakening US economy and decreasing the currency's stability. The weekend also saw the start of G20 meetings in Canada. Here, finance ministers and bankers from 20 industrialized nations are meeting to decide on general policies regarding the global economy. Official press releases from the G20 could impact the currency markets. Conclusions are planned to be published at the beginning of the week. Personal spending and income data is due for release today and may affect the US dollar. The euro strengthened on Friday against the US dollar for the third day in a row as German import prices came out higher than expected. The euro dollar has been recovering the past couple of weeks with a weekly high of 124.67, also acting as a resistance for the uptrend. Breaking this level will reinsure the pair's movement toward a recovery in the short term. The pound also strengthened against most major currencies paralleling the euro's recovery. The pound dollar closed at 150.60 after trading between 148.55 and 150.77. The overall trend remains up. No economic data is expected today. The yen has been gaining strength versus major currencies this past week, with the dollar-yen closing around 89.20 on Friday. The dollar-yen traded between 89.16 and 89.77. Japanese retail sales data came out negative at 2.8% versus 4.7% expected. The Canadian dollar strengthened against the US dollar on Friday as crude prices rose by 3.1%. As Canada's most valuable export product, crude prices affect currency value. On the daily chart, the dollar CAD encountered a downtrend line from previous highs with resistance at 104.70. If the pair breaks below 101.40, the downtrend is likely to continue. No economic data is expected today. That's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru. Thank you.